So time for another update video. So what have I been up to? Um, so Trackstar no longer make the ESC that I originally designed it with, um, but they have made a new one that's updated and that's got other features on it as well. Um, so I've ordered two more of those to see how they fare up. Also two more motors um, to do the load sharing so I can see what the load sharing is like. Um, and two more batteries as well. So I've got three batteries, three motors and three ESCs. So I've been busy machining out the motor mounts and other items. Also I've now taken the engine out of the MGF as well so I'll show you a bit of that as well. Thank you very much for watching. So hopefully you can see it coming together here. You can see the motor mounts, the motors there. So I've got three motors, three ASCs, but this is one of the old ones with two fans on top. Uh, and Trackstar no longer make these, I think. I can't seem to find them anywhere in any case. Um, but they've uprated these. They're still 200 amps at 34 volts, but they've uprated the connections. Um, they haven't got fans on top, so the heat sink's a lot bigger. Uh, and they're slightly smaller uh, profile as well. So it should make for a, a smaller power unit, possibly even lighter as well. So the gears are here, um, that I've got a machine out and make a center for that as well, so that fits in there. Um, and machine this out so I can put collets in there. So this will fit with a collet on the main shaft. So I've got the bearings on there, they're nice and tight. Um, got a few of those. This is marine stainless steel um, along with the shafts that go through here as well uh, so they shouldn't rust at all while I'm on the vehicle. I've got some aluminium here as well um, so this one here is 15mm plate that will be used for the end plates so they'll actually support the three poles here uh, and the bearings and everything else so and all these rods that have come through here, so there's plenty of points of contact for them. Then I've got some other sheets of aluminium there, and this one is 25 mil deep uh, that's sitting in there, and that'll be six collets, so I'll make six collets out of that, uh, so that'll fit onto these 25 mil shafts. So that's where I'm at with that. Here's my milling machine. There's the base I made. So now you can see why it's a little bit wobbly, it's on wheels. But I have to wheel it in and out of the cupboard every time I want to use it and just clean it up as well. So, and over on the other side of the kitchen, I've got me three batteries. So I'm busy charging them up at the moment. Uh, and the batteries have changed as well in that the profile is slightly less. So slightly smaller batteries, 4.5 ampere hour and 40C, so 40 times that um, for discharge. So what they've done is they've upgraded the connections from this to these ones. So it can handle a little bit more current and these are XT90s. So I've been busy charging them. It only takes a couple of hours at 2.2 amps. Because um, when they come, they don't come fully charged uh, for transit. So I've got myself a, a LiPo safe battery bag as well. So I can charge them safely in the bag. So what I want to test it with is the solar panel on the shed um, plugged into this and then this charging one of these batteries to see if I can charge all these batteries with solar power. If I can, I'll upgrade the solar panel in the shed and the batteries so I can actually charge the car from solar. So what I hope to do in the next video is run these motors and show you a little bit about the programming for this ESC on its card and also with the Arduino as well. So I'll plug that into the Arduino uh, and then run the motor with the Arduino so it sets this up. So I've decided to make two motor mounts at the same time, not only to speed up the process, but also so that they're a matched pair. So they're not offset in any way when the motor moves up and down.
it's worth also periodically checking your milling bit just to make sure the ends are cutting properly and it hasn't got any nicks or chips out of it. So I'm just filling up my Vectra with the MGF fuel, just using the pump we split off to my power supply, 12 volts, just to fill this tank up and then stick it in my Vectra so I don't waste any fuel. So far I've got 20 litres out of it, I'm trying to squeeze more out of it. Well it's going slow at the moment so I'll probably stop it in a sec. So now I've taken the engine out, so let's have a look at that. Hopefully you'll see where the power unit's going to go. And marry up to the gearbox at the end. Onto them splines there. So that's about all I've got for this update. Please consider subscribing um, and checking out my Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash dev255. Again, thank you for watching.